Welcome to Go. I'm Doug Brown, and we are down here in Rotary Park. I'm joined by Diana Sterling as my co-host, and this is a super cool event. It is. It's fantastic to see all of these people out here today in support of SOWINS, South Okanagan Women in Need Society, to walk a mile in red shoes. Hello, everyone. That's right. It's called Walk a Mile in Red Shoes, and there's so many people gathering Hello. down here Hello. to take part in this. How Being about Doug you, right Doug? Doug? What do you here, think? But, uh, if I we found a pair? I want to Mayor from Sun FM, uh, who is uh, A MC. pair of red so shoes. Please. Are they my size? Well, welcome. perfectly sized for you. I bet it, I bet they would be an absolute Actually, you could perfect sort of fit. In. That would be great. Want to give them a try? Yeah, yeah, we'll uh, slip really these on really coming up later on the show. Be I'm sure they're really comfy. Well, they are. Bright red they're shoes. Actually, comfort no plus stuff. Comfort, comfort plus. plus. Comfort plus. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be right back. If you don't happen to have a pal that would buy you a nice new pair of shoes, they do have shoes on loan down here for anybody that wants to come along on the walk. They do, thankfully, because there's been a lot of people showing up without red shoes. So we've got larger size for the men, beautiful smaller shoes. Oh, Although, that. you know those what, nice. Doug, you could have fit in these. I don't think those ones would fit. Now, I noticed, I noticed that you, you gave me these uh, quite tall heels, and yes. you're wearing very flat I shoes. I know. I ended up going with a wedge because the heels that I brought were very high. Very Much high. higher than I remember. High? You got me high heels, and you're wearing, like, flat shoes. I know. How did that work out, hey? This is going to be awesome. I'll meet you at the finish line. <laughs> Well, now we're talking to Judy Kerlach, who is a volunteer at Sowins, but you have a, a deeper connection with the organization as well. Can you tell us a bit about your story? My whole life we've um, suffered and dealt with violence and abuse, so um, finding out that Sowins is there, uh, you know, giving us a safe place to stay at the transition house, just uh, knowledge and support and their kindness and never turning their back and always willing to help out as much as they can especially for a, a mother with a young child. I mean, I imagine that must be a, like a terrifying experience. It's extremely scary. Um, even dealing with court and restraining orders and stuff, they, they're there to support you and do whatever they can. So, you know, um, having a place to go and not just feeling that you're all alone and there's other people out there that have experienced this exact same stuff. And it's just the comfort that is overwhelming. And talking about uh, people that have experienced the same stuff, you told me that we're standing in front of all of these flags here in yes. the park, and this represents the people that someone's has helped. Yeah, these uh, each flag actually represents a woman and a child that someone has helped. It's really impressive to see that this huge display, and it's impressive to see how many people are coming down here, getting their picking out their shoes and getting ready to go on the walk. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite enjoyable, and I think every year it just gets bigger and bigger until, you know, maybe we will make a difference one day and we'll get that second stage house, and which is the goal right now, so women and children that leave the transition house don't have to go back to the abuse. They have a safe place to go. Yeah, it's a great cause. I um, guess I'm getting ready to roll up my pant legs and join <laughs> in here. Yes, we look forward to it, and my daughter's going to join us too, so. Oh, great. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, right. you ready? I'm ready. Wait. Right one. Oh, good <laughs> sizing. Oh, that's, that's it's perfect. There, oh, oh, like it a glove. <laughs> As much as we're out here having fun, uh, it really is about walking a mile in her shoes and not judging. Uh, we all know that we still do blame the victim often, um, and we are probably all familiar with the phrase like, okay, if she goes back, then she deserves it. And there's a lot to going back and why women stay in abusive relationships. And most of us have grown up with our parents saying, don't ever say anything bad until you've walked a mile in her shoes or in their moccasins. And this is just a continuation of that, actually. The other reason that it's really important that we all come out here is because a number of the women and children that we work with are here and they're amongst us they're our neighbors they're our co-workers they're our sisters um, and uh, so they're watching and it's okay we tell them all the time they're worth something and they don't deserve to live with fear but when all these people come out and support it actually sends a bigger message it's saying that we as a community support you in your journey and if you have to go back we understand we're not going to blame you and we're going to be alongside the whole every step of your journey yeah not exactly the uh, the boots that we earned while going through depot in Regina, but um, definitely for a good cause and awareness, uh, bring it to light. RCMP takes uh, abuse of uh, people in our community uh, very seriously, and we're here today to show our support. We're going to walk a, a, a mile down to Power Street and then uh, turn around and come back. And uh, we'll check in uh, with Wayne because we're not going to make him walk backwards that whole way because I'm getting really nervous right now that he's going to keel over. I'm nervous for both of you. He's in good hands. <laughs> All right, and uh, we've, we have an officer down. We have an officer down. No, he's, he's back up again. 
The rescue dog, okay. This is, uh, it's an action-packed walk already. I love it, I love it. Thank you, sir. Busted. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Mayor thinks I can run in I heels. Think he can. Yep, yep. It needs to happen. I don't think he can. <laughs> How do you stop? <laughs> We've made it back to the bench. We have made it. You've done well. Walked us. all the way to Power Street, honestly, right? No, it was so far. It was actually a whole mile, wasn't it? A whole mile. I know. And how are you? Now we're going to see how this how this goes. <laughs> how are the feet? How are the feet? You really have to. No. Yeah. <laughs> There's no blood. No, look, it's not that bad. It's all right. I got a little line there. It's not. It's not all right. It's not all right. Uh, it no, doesn't look. That's, no, I think I'd put we'll them put back the shoes on. back on. Thank you so much to all the people that uh, organized this and, and yeah. came out here and walked a mile in her shoes. A really important cause. It was, and so fantastic to see the turnout. It's just great. All right. Well, thanks to everybody for putting this on. Thanks to you for finding me these very comfortable shoes. No problem. Anytime you need a pair of heeled shoes, I'll find them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Diana. All right, that's Anytime. it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. And I'm Diana Sterling. And we'll see you next time on Go. <laughs> <laughs>